with your pen, we're going to look at the flower. Dun dun. The Amazon lily and see how it hangs down. And we're gonna start with the little teardrop looks before we go to any of the open flowers. So what we're doing is starting where the flower grows like we always do and do one petal at a time. Okay, so let me show you that again. I'm starting right here where it grows and I'm doing just one petal, outlining it. And instead of doing shading or tone with a pencil, we're doing it with pen. So you wanna start where it grows and have the lines for your shading go around the curve or the contour with just one petal at a time. All right, so that whole time was one petal. Now to work on the next petal, I'm gonna come around and hook it in. Okay, that's the second petal. The shading is gonna go right behind that first petal. So I'm outlining and defining my edges of the flower and adding a little shading by going back and forth, by doing lines next to each other and letting them get uh, smaller and less distinct as they go towards the lighter side. Now I'm gonna do another petal going this way. And this time I'm gonna come here and see how I did that, I attached the petal. I'm gonna go around the petal and where there's absence of light right down there will be a darkest dark. So I'm going back and forth. Remember, you can do this in pencil, which if you're the type that goes, oh, I messed up, I have to uh, erase it, that, that's what to do. All right, now is where we're gonna look at how it attaches. These go up and swoop down. All right, let's try that again. Comes right there, go up and swoop down. Now. I actually am fine with you guys not having it perfect. So if it's a bumpy line, that's fine. The way God created flowers, they're all different. All right, the leaves here kind of look like a heart for love. So I start with a one bump and then the second bump. Then I do the veins down and starting here, go across for your detail. If you want to do the leaf, you can. If you don't want to do all that detail, you don't have to. If you do, once again, I'm showing you with pen today how you can add some tones by going what? My favorite circularization. And you could have some bumpy lines and show your lines because uh, the way God created leaves, if we look very closely at it, it has a lot of really cool crevices and bumps to it. Where if you look really close, like macro photography it's called, whoa, look at all those bumps and stuff. So you can kind of go a little crazy with scribbling for dimension. All right, I have one flower. Now I'm gonna have you guys do at least three. They have more than three, there's clusters. Two, I'm gonna start where this one grows. Now I'm gonna come down, right? Your stem is gonna come down and it's gonna be planted in the ground. So let's just go up and down with your lines for some grasses down here. All right, now we're gonna use wax resist if you wanna paint this and we'll do that with crayon, the green, right? And then when we paint over it with watercolor, it will resist. All right, so you're on your second one. So I'm getting my three, one, two. I'll get my third one coming down like that. So we'll do three buds. So we're gonna do it the same way we did that one. Start with the flower petal down. Go outline it, add a little shading. Add your next one down, come back in. Add your shading in there and around the curve of the contour and add your next one down. All right. For this last one, I'm gonna have it more open. Okay, so for this last flower bud, I'm going to have the petal come around and in. Then I have my contour line there. I'm gonna have a little bit of spikes, fair, 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 lines with little holes on the end, little circles, the pistons. And then I come around my next petal and in. My line's going, my shading like that. And my next petal's around and in. See how I connected that? All right, you got it. You could even do an extra petal here if you want, or you could start the stem. Either way, it's fine because we have my friend called Whiteout here. All right, I'm shaking up the Whiteout. And um, guys, Whiteout is kind of like nail polish or paint where you can really uh, make it messy <laughs> and get a mess. So kind of like um, when you paint your nails, any girls know how to, you kind of wipe it off then that way you don't drip it. Now, if you wanted to go over some of the areas that are lighter with a little bit of white or those little pistons in the middle or go over where you had some, uh, what do you call it? The stem showing, this is where you're gonna do a little bit of painting with white out 
is what some of my students like to do to make some things pop. Then I'll probably use color pencils in class and make those a little more white. I just wanted to show you the different effects you can use. White out will repel paint as will wax if you do some wax resist down here to so sh show some shine. All right, over now from today's lesson. Hopefully we'll spend a little longer on it as we perfect our Amazon lilies, uh, which are bent over. Over now from